There's some delicate surgery being done outside Washington, D.C. over the next day or so using some big time machinery. Indeed, the space shuttle Discovery must be separated from that jumbo jet that flew it from Florida to Virginia yesterday. WFTV's Kevin Oliver reports. It was a sight to behold. The space shuttle Discovery, the country's longest flying spacecraft, flown around the nation's capital. Tens of thousands of people stopped what they were doing to peer up and capture photos of the spacecraft circling the city on the back of a 747. I am glad that it ends on a, a high note. You know, Discovery was in great shape when she landed and uh, so are the other birds. And so this, this is the way you want to end a program. Astronaut Michael Barrett was on Discovery's final space flight. He was back at the Kennedy Space Center to see it off. He said seeing it leave its home here was harder than he thought. When they came back and did the fly over the uh, runway again and then started north, started away and disappeared, I was a little bit emotional. That was kind of a sign that this was it. And the same jet which brought Discovery to the Space Center nearly three decades ago took it away. But the Space Center director said it's going to a place where it will be preserved and cherished. I remember as a young boy seeing the Spirit of St. Louis and the Wright Flyer there and, you know, the beginning of aviation, Charles Lindbergh, and, uh, and now Discovery is going to be in that special place also. A few hours after Discovery disappeared from view at the Space Center, it landed at Dulles, grounded for good, and will soon become the most high-tech relic ever put in a museum. What a cool ending for yes. such a storied shuttle. And there's some great shots of kind of uh, the uh, the shuttle near some, obviously, D.C. Uh, landmarks. Somewhat the disconcerting to see it, but the pers they're okay. But look at that. This is a cool visual, mm -hmm. huh? Look at that. It looks a, a little superimposed. It does. It? Like, <laughs> like, like, is that really action happening? Action movie scene right there. Look at that of the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, very cool. They're going to take the next 48 hours to use cranes to carefully lift the shuttle off of the airplane. You imagine it's quite delicate too. And the official handover ceremony is set for tomorrow, so it should be very cool.